hay there is Blake from Blake's Nature Lot. And we're gonna be splitting up some more wood. This is wood that has already been split from an old live oak tree. But I wanna split it a lot smaller so I can sell it in little bundles better. So this one I can split in half. These are a little too long, but you can get away with it. It was an old live oak a few years back that fell and we cut it up. So this wood's really, 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 really dry. You can tell it's seasoned wood. See how these are all flaking up? It's completely dry, no moisture in it. Burns really good and slow. So I'm gonna fill the truck up halfway with this wood, take it over to the property, and then we'll split up one more time. I'll see you very soon. Here's the little load we have we're gonna mess with today. These are all the bigger ones that are thicker. Here's the ones right here that I already cut the other day, or a few days ago. And we'll go over to the property. Right now we're over at the parents place. There's our beautiful little greenhouse with all the other plants around it. And in the very back is the big lake. Okay, so let's go to the property and cut these up. Okay. Made it to the property. Okay. I just wanted to go in detail about the wood. As you know, there's different types of oak trees, different types of trees. This right here is another type of oak. Forgive me if I'm butchering this type of species. I believe it's a red oak. It has a red tint to it. I'll walk the wood closer to you. That's a little red tint. When I first cut it, it was real red. This has been sitting out a few weeks since I cut it. And then many months back in the summer, we had knocked a, tree, a few trees down and they've been laying there. But this probably needs till sometime end of next, this coming up summer, before it's gonna be ready. You want it real dry and more flaky. Well, these cut really straight. The, the wood's really um, upright. Like live oak, it's all twisted. So this is real easy to cut up with the machine I got right behind me. <clears throat> All right, we got the wood out of the truck. Now we have it laid on the ground. I'm gonna split it up in half. You may ask, why Blake didn't you do it in the beginning? Why didn't you make it smaller? We were in a hurry. And at the time, I was just burning chunks of wood at a campfire outside. These are gonna be smaller for people to buy bundles of, like in an apartment or in a small fireplace. Let's get at it. Make sure you got some ear protection and let me get this turned on real quick. This thing has become so much easier than using the regular axe, splitting axe. I just put some more gas in here. Let's hurry.
Here's all the live oak I just split up. Got them in the tent. They're gonna stay dry while I'm selling them. The ones you see outside, they'll stay outside until I feel like they're ready to come in. I'm gonna we're gonna build a little shed or some type of covering to put them all under so they'll dry quicker. Beautiful when they're stacked up. They split small. You like this video like subscribe i'm gonna get back on this uh wood before it gets too dark i'll catch everybody later until next time